Good morning and welcome guys to the Let's Death series where you can watch me doing my morning routine developing my game Oh My Zombie, the game where you are the zombie. And uh, this format is kind of like a live stream but it isn't live because I don't think anybody would uh, watch a live stream <laughs> this early in the morning. And so I'm recording it and afterwards putting it online. So welcome, I'm home, I hope you're doing good and uh, you're healthy. And uh, yeah, we got lots of stuff to do. So yesterday um, I was working on the throw bone attack. And there's one more thing I want to make sure if a bone remains on the floor it despawns. This is something that should happen and I need to add another thing. I want to add rotation um, when thrown. All right, this is what we got to do. So let's hit play. Let's see what we got. Got the bone. It's delivering damage. There is also a possibility that the stone, uh, the bone remains on the floor. And uh, I want to reproduce that, but in order to um, to debug the behavior or to find out if the solution I got in my mind is working, I need to go to scripts and into the throw bone. So one of you guys mentioned that I should make the the size of the font bigger. So I, I'm guessing you're watching this on a mobile device. So let me just uh, zoom in a little bit here. All right, um, what, I do, um, what do I want to do? We have this on collision enter function here, and I will add another one, and I will call it private void on collision stay. Mm, on collision stay, debug the lock. collision stay so that way I can see if the on collision stay 2d function is triggered and now I want to play test and see if I can reproduce the um, behavior of the bone remaining on the floor so let me see ouch Ouch. I'm gonna kill myself here. <laughs> Collision stay. Okay, it gets triggered. Well. Oh, maybe that will not work. Whoops. Make 
Sorry. Okay, the on collision stay gets triggered a lot of times. Let me see. There we go. It's sliding along the floor. And then we get on collision stay triggered. And it should not collide on the floor like that. I it it should not slide on the floor like that. Huh. What if I just say debug.lock or collision stay and then destroy the game object no matter what? And I could um, destroy it after a few seconds, but I'll just try it with instant destroy. Let's test. Okay. Okay, the stake gets triggered. Whoa. Make me dead. <laughs> they are young. So I'm trying to reproduce it here, but you see. So it's calling the stay, and then it gets destroyed instantly. I'm not sure if this is what I want. So let's say destroy the game object after one second. So it will remain for one more second and then it will disappear. Whoa. Collision stay gets triggered there as well. Make me dead. Well, I don't like that behavior. but it is working and it is working like it should so we see we got here the collision enter and so the throw at uh, the bone gets thrown back and it remains in the air and if it slides on the floor the collision stay gets called well, maybe that's what I wanted. Yeah, I will leave it like that. Well, the collision stay is called and it's pure luck that the bone remains long enough to hit <laughs> the player. Interesting. Delicious. 
Let's see. Make me ah. dumb. So this is the the part which I wanted to change because you see the bonus colliding. Then it's days on collision stay. But it begins here. The on collision stay part begins here. So it's flying over there. It's returning and about here it's actually hitting the cr the ground. Maybe I can zoom in and see it a little bit better. about here where it starts hitting the ground then the timer goes and it despawns Where's it colliding? Is it the bush? The ground here. It's colliding with the ground. Okay, let me test. So there is the on collision stay, but nothing is happening. Okay, but I think I will leave it like that because now no bone is remaining on the floor and that's exactly what I wanted to have. So I will comment this one. Um, make sure no bone remains on the floor. All right. Okay, that's one thing. Um, another thing I want to do is um, apply some kind of rotation. Um, let me see. Um, Unity. Rigid body rotation. Or maybe what I'm looking for is the rot not rotation but torque. Unity rigid unity rigid body two D at torque. There we go. 
talk to apply. Oh, rigid body at talk. Okay, here we got a code example. At talk transform dot up times talk times turn talk and flow turn. Mm -hmm. transform dot up. So it takes loads transform dot uh, I guess we would have to um, take transform dot set okay let's just try um, I go to the player attack script and there is my instantiation It is here. Shoot direction. All right. Here we apply the speed, and then throw bone. Throw bone clone. Guess component. Richie body. Richie body two D. Dot at torque okay and this takes the flow torque and the force mode transform dot what is transform dot up the green axis no, I don't want to have the transform dot forward the blue axis. I guess it's actually transform dot up. Now it's the green axis. Dot right, the red axis. Let me see. Let me see. Hello, hello, hello. Green, red, blue. We we need the blue axis. Transform dot. What was it up? No, that's form dot right. The red axis. We need the blue axis. Forward. Yay. Transform dot forward. Huh. <laughs> is it this? I don't know. I don't know if this is right. We will try. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't look that bad. Yes, that's what I wanted to have, but it's turning in the wrong direction. Do, 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 do. 
Boom. It is despawning before it hit before it hits the ground. That's not good. A few changes we need to do. Throw bone. Destroy game object after two seconds. So that's part number one. And then vector three dot forward. What happens if I say transform dot up? Thing. Just playing around here. Ah. Whoops. Ah. Ouch. Out dead. Okay. Um no it is what it is. It should be transform.forward.c and let me see what we can do. Force mode dot impulse. Let me see the difference. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not what we want. Okay, there's all, s all kinds of funny things happening here. Bam. Hello. Okay, but uh, I think I'm I'm okay with that. I will leave it like that. That's good. It's rotating nicely. Give me the fresh yeah. Seems to be good. Yep. Okay. 
I'll leave it like that. So I go back to my checklist. We got this and we got that. And that means the throw bone attack is finished. So move on to the next. To the next um, topic. So I want to mm, make some kind of spit attack where the player is spitting infectious vomit and um, I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. I'm thinking about um, emitting particles and having those particles um, a rigid body and um, then some kind of um, behavior that will actually hurt the player but I'm not sure if this will work fine so we get a collectible skulls And we got a particle system on them. Just want to see how I did this. We can add force and velocity. Collision. We also can add triggers. That's interesting. External forces. Is there... Oh, I could add some scripts here. Okay, let me just do some research. Uh, Unity particle Collision script on particle collision. Oh, look at that. This is what I'm looking for. Modern behavior on particle collision. Game object. On particle collision is called when a particle hits a collider. This can be used to apply damage to a game object when hit by particles. This message Sent to all scripts attached to the Volk particle collider and the collider that was hit. Send collision message in the inspector of Volt particle collider. Where is the Volt particle collider? Other on particle collision. Okay, there is some kind of... Oh, that's okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> when on particle collision is invoked from a script attached to the particle system. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds good. What on particle or collision can object other? Send whoops. Send collision messages. I guess that's here. Yep, that's that needs to be enabled. Okay. Okay. So I think one of the best ways to do that is go to the player. There we go. We got a spawn point, we got a attack trigger. Where is the attack trigger? Look, the attack trigger is exactly, or almost exactly, where his mouth is. Uh huh. Spawn point for the bow. Mm. Okay, let me see. I think it's a good idea to have it in a child object. Yeah, I'll do that. So, create empty game object. Particle. Um, spit particle system and I will move it here to the mouth. Okay, add component particle system. There we go. So I haven't worked um, with the particle system for a while. Okay, there we go. Reducing the size. Reduce the size. Um, we need simulation speed. Oh, no, that's the wrong property. Mm, 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 mm. Emitter velocity. Da da da. Da da da. Start left time, five seconds. Yeah, that's okay. We don't need a duration, five seconds. Okay, what do we have on the number of particles emitted per second? So we got the shape. I think I need to change the shape. Cone. Donut. We got a donut. Uh, box. Oh. Oof. Oof. Mesh, mesh render, <gasps> sprite, a circle, we got a circle, oh yeah, circle seems to be good, 
Whoa, it's raining upwards. <laughs> Rectangle. Okay, I stay with the circle. And 360. Yeah, I want to spawn them in one direction. Uh, yeah, that seems to be good. About 60. Yes. That's what I want to have. Texture none. Uh, da, 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 da. Default, sprite default. Oh, I'll leave it like that for a second. Or will I have to? Let me see. Default. Default particle. No. Mode random loop. Random. Splinter shape. I, I'm not sure, but I think. Sprite. UI sprite now. Um, default. Oh wow. What is happening there? What? Yeah, I, it's it's the wrong thing. Non. Don't want to have anything there. Okay. Velocity over lifetime. Force over lifetime. Force. Let's have a force. Mission rate over time. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's too much. Fifteen. Well, what I want to have Wow <laughs> What was that? There's the burst Or oh, you can do such cool things with the particle system. Look at that. There is the burst. I'm re I, I remove it. Um, velocity of a lifetime. Gravity modifier. It should be a spit attack, so you know, he's actually spitting, right? So we need this gravity modifier. Okay, that actually looks more like like peeing. <laughs> gravity modifier, I will set it to one. Uh, 
um, I think what is um, what I should adjust is the speed start speed 5 I reduce this I'm not so satisfied with that. Hmm. I set it back to five. And then put the gravity modifier more like this. Start lifetime duration one, one second. And I need more particles, that's that's for sure. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave it like that. Size of lifetime rotation, textures, renderer. I guess we need a material default sprite default. Material, tray material, blah blah blah. Okay, that's one thing. Minimum particle size and maximum particle size. So I will set the minimum size to, yeah, to this. What the? Oh my god. Look at that. Restart. <laughs> okay. Restart. That's better. Maximum particle size. Color. Start color. Okay, I want to have some kind of green vomit like vomit vomit. Let me see. Blah. 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 Uh. Well, color over 
enough time. Color blend. Yes, we blend. Uh, some kind of brown brown ugly color that was here oh what the heck Delete. <laughs> okay, let's see you. I don't see them getting brown. Mm, 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 mm. Collision. Okay. Type planes. Planes. Solid. Send collision messages. Okay, let's see. Nothing happening yet. If I set it world. <laughs> Collides with everything. If I say plane. Then I have to select a plane. Which I can do here, but well. Transform grid. No, I don't want to collide it with planes. I think I need world and then 2D collide with everything. There we go. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Okay, that's that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> wow. Mm. I don't want to have that much bounce. There should be little or none. Look at that. Oh, that's actually that's not so bad. Because the vomit is um, spread on the floor. And then um, it's kind of getting into the floor and that's how it looks like here it's the dissolving kind of not that bad okay collides with not with the player oh yes um wait a second it should collide with the player but um bone 
hands dampen. Okay, let's put this to a lower value. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so what else? Where's my lifetime? Start lifetime. Do I want to have them remain like that long? Yes. Okay, guys, um, I'm back in one minute. Hang on. So, there I am, back, back in the game. Okay, what I want to change also is um, the duration. I think this is good. Spitting his vomits. Um, I also want to tweak the. I want to tweak. The shape. I'm putting this. The rotation to 50. And then I want to change this one to 30. Let's see. A 
looks better to me. The color over lifetime is not working. Okay. Um we got this. Uh we got the kind of burst thing. If I remove it the burst can't remove. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's better. All right. Color over lifetime. Fixed. Blend. Man, it should be working, but... It isn't. Let me see, I got my collectibles here, and I think I have color over lifetime as well. Do I have? No, I don't. I don't have it. Start color, color over lifetime, collision, This is the default particle material. Not happy with that. Go with the sprite default. Why is the color not working? Why gradient? Random between two gradients. That's it. That's it. Fixed and here fixed. Damn it, fixed with that color. Hello, what the? Wait, 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 wait. 
the heck? Let's see. Yeah. It has some kind of behavior. <laughs> I don't get this. The leech. Not not working. Oh, it's a random between those two gradients. And that's why I'm getting some kind of random color in there. Okay, well, I will figure this out, but now it's time to go to my main job. So, tomorrow we will do the scripting on this and um, do some more tweaks on the particle system. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it, and um, yeah, it looks actually like he's spitting, and we will deliver damage through that spit through that um, vomit and uh, yeah pretty nice I like it all right guys um, I see you in the next one have a nice day and uh, stay safe and healthy thank you very much for watching see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>